If you're going on a new Royal Caribbean cruise ship, what will you notice the most? I've got a list of things that definitely stand out about a new ship up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. I often say it's hard to have a bad cruise on a new cruise ship. And a large reason for that thought process is because of how much you can see and do on a new ship. Royal Caribbean's fleet of cruise ships offer ships of different size and age. And there's a good reason to try them all, with the newest ships offering some of the most superb experiences that truly stand out. Of course, a new cruise ship will come with a premium price. The newest ships have the most demand because of how intriguing they are to the general public. It leaves some people wondering what exactly a new cruise ship gets you and why you'd want to pay extra to sail on a brand new Royal Caribbean cruise ship compared to one that isn't as new. Now, regardless of the ship's age, Royal Caribbean does a pretty good job of maintaining its fleet with regular updates and even upgrades some vessels. The appeal of the latest and greatest certainly draws in plenty of people because it represents the very best that Royal Caribbean has to offer. When you watch a commercial for Royal Caribbean, inevitably, you'll want to do the same things you see in that commercial, and those are only offered on newer ships. If you've sailed on older ships, or are simply curious what makes a new ship different from an older one, there are a few nuances you'll want to notice about brand new cruise ships when you get on board. Number one, updated cabin aesthetics. If you think all cruise ships are the same regardless of age, you have to see the cabin of a new ship. New cruise ships have much more modern aesthetics, and I'd say the look and feel of a new ship cabin mirrors that of a land-based hotel much more than older cruise ship cabins. Royal Caribbean cruise ship cabins, built probably before 2014, seem to have a very traditional maritime look to them, and it seemed like the motif for these rooms was very much the same whether you want a Radiance or Voyager-class cruise ship. When the Quantum-class ships launched, the look of Royal Caribbean cruise ship cabins began to change, and since then, it seems Royal Caribbean hasn't been content with delivering the same sort of cabin. The colors have evolved over the last 10 years, and there's more accents that make your cruise ship cabin look less like a cruise ship cabin. In my opinion, new cabins evoke more of a land resort look to them than older cabins did. Number two, smart TVs. Because of something else you'll notice in your cabin on a new cruise ship are the televisions. I certainly don't watch a lot of TV while on a cruise, but when I do, the experience is much more enjoyable on a new TV given the feature set and performance you'll get with them. Newer Royal Caribbean ships have interactive TVs where you can complete your muscle drill experience, order room service, review charges, and more. On the very newest Royal Caribbean ships, the TVs have a means to stream content from your smart device. This alleviates one of the major pain points guests have for years of trying to get a movie from their computer or phone on the TV without having to bring an HDMI cable and universal remote. Plus, the new TVs change channels a heck of a lot quicker. My pet peeve is using a TV that has a noticeable delay in trying to change channels, which is common among older units. While the stateroom television isn't a reason to book a cruise or not, I freely admit that, it certainly makes for a nice upgrade if you have a newer version. Number three, more specialty restaurants. There's simply more dining choices on a new cruise ship. Part of the reason you'll find more dining variety is because the ship is bigger, which means more space on board for more restaurants. Over the years, Royal Caribbean has doubled down on specialty dining in particular because of how well received it has been from guests. It offers more cuisines and cooking styles than you can find in the complimentary venues, and it allows Royal Caribbean to experiment with new concepts as well. For those that opt to indulge in extra cost restaurants, you'll have more choices on a new ship than an older ship. As an example, Icon of the Seas has more than 40 food and beverage concepts, with 23 of them completely new to Royal Caribbean. Whether you go to all the restaurants is secondary to the fact you'll have the choice to visit them, and the sheer variety really does stand out. When you're on an older ship, though, the amount of dining choices is considerably less. Another reason to book a new ship, or something at least you'll notice about a new ship anyway, is the newer songs and production shows. If you want to tell which decade a cruise ship was launched, watch one of the production shows and listen for the songs which are included. When Royal Caribbean builds a new cruise ship, they develop new shows for the guests on board. Inevitably, there are hit songs from the last few years included in the dance numbers. When I went on Anthem of the Seas earlier this summer, I recall hearing Macklemore's Can't Hold Us as part of a show in 270. It's a great hit from 2012, and it instantly sets the age of a ship in my mind. Newer cruise ships seem to sample newer songs in their shows. Something else you'll notice about new ships is a lot more new cruisers. New cruise ships are built to bring in the crowds, especially those that have never cruised before. Growth in the cruise industry is predicated on the concept of marketing to people that have never taken a cruise before because that is the largest segment of the population to grow from. 
According to statistics published by the Cruise Line International Association, around 15% of the total U.S. population have ever cruised. So as a result, Royal Caribbean designs new cruise ships to be very intriguing to somebody who's never cruised before, and the result is there will probably be a lot more new cruisers on board. Now, to be fair, you're going to find plenty of new cruisers on every Royal Caribbean cruise ship, but there seems to be many more newbies on a newer ship. Certainly, there will be many families on a new ship because of Royal Caribbean's historic appeal to the family cruise market as well. And those Royal Caribbean television commercials talked about earlier are made to attract the public to the ship. And often the whiz-bang activities on board are the sort that compel somebody who's never cruised before to try the ship. The Bionic Bar, Ultimate Abyss, Flow Rider all endear themselves to first-time cruisers because they're the sort of activity somebody who's never imagined going on a cruise might want to try out. Something else that always stands out about new ships compared to old ships is the fact that you'll have much more storage space in your cabin. Let's get back to the cabins for a second because one big difference with a new ship is how much more storage space there is in your cabin. When I started cruising, I found storage space to be at a premium. But with cruise ships built in the last decade, there has been many more drawers, closets, and nooks added to store all of your belongings. Instead of rationing shelves between family members, which we definitely used to do, I find even in inside cabins more shelving and drawers that I can possibly use. This is especially helpful when cruising with kids as the amount of stuff you have seems to grow exponentially. Something else to notice about a newer ship is the line's best musical acts are probably on board that ship. In terms of entertainment on a new cruise ship, the better acts tend to end up on newer ships. When Royal Green launches a new cruise ship, they'll pluck the top-rated bands and musicians and comedians to sail on the newest ship. This is largely based on guest feedback and reputation that these performers have garnered over the years. To be clear, all the musical acts across the fleet are talented, but the stagemanship with the best acts really make these people stand out, and you're going to find them on a newer ship. Something else you'll notice about a new ship is it has the best app features and more of them. The Royal Caribbean app is now a must-use part of the cruise experience, and the feature set on a new ship is substantial. The bottom row of the app has various things you can do in there, and the newest ships in the fleet can do things like being able to open your stateroom door, augmented reality experiences, and even open your cabin curtains. Whether you use all these features or not is another question, but it's nice to have them all as a feature there. And then, of course, there's the suite amenities. If you like staying in a Royal Caribbean suite, you'll find the best suite perks on a new ship. Royal Caribbean has two tiers of suite benefits, with its new ships offering Royal Suite Class amenities that are aimed at rivaling land resort suite benefits. The Royal Suite Class has three tiers, Sea Class, Sky Class, and Star Class, and they're available on Quantum, Oasis, and Icon Class ships. Not only are the benefits better on new ships, but the size and layout of suites are arguably superior as well. Because of how lucrative the suite market is for the cruise line, Royal Caribbean has developed larger and more opulent suites that feature multi-deck layouts, in-suite slides, and private jacuzzis. A suite on an older ship will still be a great experience, but when you try a suite on a newer ship, I think the variety of perks really does stand out. So there you have it, with the things that really stand out about a new ship and what you'll notice by going on a new Royal Caribbean cruise ship. Which do you prefer, a newer ship, older ship, and what things really matter to you when you book a cruise? Let me know in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. That way, YouTube lets you know we have a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com, and we'll talk again real soon.